Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you what I prepare for Abigail for lunch. Uh, here I've grated carrot and uh, cut pumpkin, green beans, uh, soaked moong dal and uh, white rice. Um, you have to soak this for half an hour. And I'm going to rinse this water. Here I have organic cow ghee. I'm going to heat a uh, cooker, pressure cooker. I'm going to add some ghee and curry leaves. Curry leaves only for flavor. I'm going to add green beans, pumpkin, carrots, stir for a second. I recommend you to introduce a variety of vegetables to your 8-month-old babies as they can provide important nutrients for their growing bodies. And the darker the color of the vegetable, the higher the fiber content like carrot, beetroot, spinach, beans. Add turmeric, cumin powder and no adding salt at all for this khichdi. Okay. So give it a stir add moong dal and rice here i'm not going to add more white rice and more dal um, I, I like to give more veggies so the carrot and beans and pumpkin she loves uh, uh, more veggie uh, kitchen i'm going to add a little water i'm close the lid then cook for two or three whistle until they're nice and soft and allow the pressure to release naturally then open the lid and make sure you remove the curry leaves. This is perfect. You can give as it is or you can just uh, mash a bit roughly with the fork or with a spoon. You can add more ghee at this point. This is perfect consistency. And uh, uh, serve baby a nice and warm khichdi like this and they will enjoy. Take a bath, this is the way we take a bath before we go to bed. This is the way we brush our teeth, brush our teeth, brush our teeth, brush our teeth. This is the way we brush our teeth before we go to bed. Abby, lunchtime, kitchdi. After half an hour, we give plenty of water. She loves to drink water. For just for time pass, <laughs> we give her ghee dosa also. She loves ghee dosa. She loves idli without salt. <laughs> 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 you like dosa, mama? Mm. Mm. Wait, it's hot. It's hot. <laughs> It's Just like Nona. Just like Nona, you like dosa, no? <laughs> Self-feeding also gives babies the chance to explore the food in different ways. Pick up the big one. This is not happy. <laughs> this is time pass. No, no. So happy with dosha. See. Now time for physical exercise. <laughs> Inside my studio. Today I'm making green bajra roti. Uh, everything green, beans, zucchini, and spinach and coriander and one carrot i'm going to soak as uh, wash and soak in salt water first and rinse into fresh water properly i'm going to boil some filter water i'm going to blanch this uh, green beans and uh, spinach and coriander stems here it is see 
Yeah, it will take about five minutes. And I'm going to transfer this to a chutney grinder. Do not throw this water. We can make this uh, uh, dough out of this uh, atta once they pull. Remove beans and transfer to a chutney grinder. Beans and coriander stems. I allow them to cool completely, even the water. And I'm going to add, I'm going to grate this carrot and the zucchini and add to the mixing bowl here and the chopped coriander leaves, turmeric powder, cumin powder, and uh, fennel, soft powder. No salt. I'm going to add mixture of bajrika atta and uh, wheat flour uh, in a mixing bowl and allow the uh, boiled water, that blanched water to, uh, to cool completely. Now we can blend this uh, blanched uh, green beans and spinach and st uh, coriander stems with little uh, cooked water. Uh, blend roughly, we don't want a, a smooth puree, this is perfect like this add to the mixing bowl this is fine we're going to make roti out of this and add to the mixing bowl and make a dough and add uh, enough cooked water and and flour to get right dough consistency the dough needs to be soft and pliable if the dough feels too wet sticky add more flour and you can add ghee and make a smooth dough out of it i'm going to add organic ghee here And I'm continue to mix till I get a smooth dough. And once you're done, you have to uh, let the dough rest for 30 minutes uh, without disturbing. Uh, roll dough ball to a small ball, uh, like a pera size, and roll evenly using a rolling pin. If it's too sticky, you can add a little uh, flour. This is perfect. And heat tawa before you add the rolled roti. And cook both sides. Add ghee and cook uh, till done. And press and cook both the sides. This is almost done. Flip it over. This green roti is ready. Perfect. Cut into small pieces. Abby, green roti is ready. self-feeding this may even help them becoming more adventurous eaters when they are older well she is enjoying a roti <laughs> thank god that's all for now don't forget to like share subscribe to my channel ciao